Flying and shooting is definitely the bread and butter of Iron Man VR. But in addition to that, you'll experience a lot more of what it's like to be Tony. And in that way, you'll return to the mansion, jump in his garage, start tinkering on your suit, and you're learning more about Tony, the man behind the suit, in addition to flying around in his suit. Friday, suit up, now! So one of the fun and easy aspects of being a developer on Iron Man VR is that uh, you kind of know what you need to execute on if you just look at the comics and the films and just talk to fans of the franchise. And that's why we built the Tony Stark garage in Malibu that allows players to kind of relax and just be Tony, listen to the radio, work out, but also be able to tweak the suit and just make it feel like this is your suit that you're customizing and improving. You can customize your repulsors and you can craft additional weapons for the auxiliary slots. You also have augment slots that you can craft equipment for, for upgrading your HUD capabilities, your thrusters, or tweak the way the suit uses ammo. Start drones incoming on an intercept course. I told you your old weapons would be the death of you, Stark. When they put on that helmet and the HUD boots up, and they grab those controllers and they pull the triggers and you start flying around, that they feel like Iron Man that they feel like Tony Stark when they're going back to the garage, tinkering on their suit, interacting with Pepper. As of today, Stark Industries no longer makes or sells weapons of any kind. I want to tell a story that when players put down the controllers and walk away from the game, they continue to think about a story that's compelling, engaging, and explores the depth of Tony Stark as a character. Sir, hostile is inbound, 10 o'clock. Time for the hero thing. Please stay strong.